Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, the state of Gnome 48 has changed, triple buffering has been merged, and um, there is a full, a few uh, pull requests I kind of want to talk about that should be merged hopefully soon. I just gotta figure out where the hell I put them first off. There is one that enables the color protocol, in case you guys don't know. Uh, the color protocol was merged a while back. I never really think this through before I do something, do I? Move to a new window. There we go. So there we go. Uh, the color protocol has been renamed. And now it's color protocol, color management version one client protocol, which is interesting to say the least. Now if we go to merge requests over here, and uh, this is for GTK, okay? That's one thing. We need to go to Mutter. Hello, mother. Hello, father. I can't help it. That's always going to be in my head. So we go over here and we go down. You notice there's support and enable work in progress color management. So I have merged this and there currently is some weird bug going on with HDR. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the graphics driver or not. I'm not sure what it is, but I have merged this into my thing there. As you can see, color management is there and it is working, which is nice. And the best part is that GameScope sees it. Um, VK HDR sees it. So it is possible to game in HDR, but the problem is everything's washed out at the moment and I don't know why. And uh, another thing, <clears throat> I wonder if it's in here. Is it going to show triple buffering in here? I'm not even sure if that's a thing that can be shown. And that's definitely an issue for me, I guess, because I want to see if it's here and it's not. So triple buffering has improved a lot of things uh, performance wise for GNOME, like uh, no more performance drops when doing animations. All screens are at one. Well, the screen on my far right is 165 hertz the screen we're on right now is 180 and the other screen is 180 so they're all doing their full performance which <clears throat> is not something they would have done before so it's the performance across all screens is identical and it works out really really well other things that are supposedly coming um luminance forgot about that i should probably go to over here so i want to go to merge requests and i want to type in hdr i believe it will show under hdr no it won't okay and let's search color like that the color go to open and where is it oh this is one add support for icc profiles i can't wait for that one and there's supposed to be one here for luminance unless it was already merged. Was luminance merged? Experimental development tool for HDR. Apply that, that, that. They did end up merging. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that then. I'm trying to find this is a bit annoying because I don't know the exact, you know, name for it. And that bugs me the most. A day ago, a day ago, 45, 47.5 backwards. Nice. <clears throat> Dynamic triple buffering. There that is. Okay. So luminance is another thing that we have to wait for. So uh, I'm not sure how to find that. Ah, here it is. Luminance. So this will allow you to adjust the luminance of your HDR display. So up, down things like that so if i go and copy this in here and i hit paste again come on developers adding the bash command is no longer needed and again it's not there because well this pr has not been merged but what has to happen is this eventually has to move into settings so <clears throat> once this is done and merged ui changes in settings are going to be necessary so I can't wait for that. So again, it's tracked to be merged with GNOME 48. And I'm not sure if settings... One second, let's do GNOME control. Ah, let's just head over here. No, that's Mutter as well. Okay. 
No control settings. This was another pull request, and I usually just use this to jump around, but uh yeah, I don't see anything in here about luminance yet, so that's something we have to look out for. Which is, should be pretty interesting. And I hope it comes soon, because honestly, that is going to be pretty big when it does, because, well, you want to control the luminance of your HDR display, you want to be able to deal with its color, uh, everything like that to tune it the way you want to. So, if I go in here, most people don't know what it's going to be looking like. So there's the two new displays, there's my old one. And uh, there is the high dynamic range, the HDR. Turn it on, you're good to go. Currently at the moment it does not work with Blur My Shell, that's why I have it off, but it does work nonetheless. Turn that up. So we have that to look forward to. There's a lot of things to look forward to with GNOME 48. Proper HDR is coming, and when it comes it's going to be an awesome thing. But HDR right now, as it is, is merged into GNOME 48. So yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the, in the comments. Let me know what you're most excited for. And um, honestly, it they did a lot of silly things in GNOME 48, and it broke a lot of extensions. Not a lot. Well, uh, uh, the most minimum amount of extensions possible, like quick settings, which you normally have over here. Uh, that's completely broken, and they have to rewrite that. I'm going to have to check on that today, but... A lot of extensions work. Some of them need to be changed from, of course, alpha uh, onto beta and beta onto RC. But on release, the majority should be ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try to get another video done for you guys today. I just got to figure out what. Bye, everybody.